Monty touched the corners of a piece of card to leave the regular octagon shown in the diagram. O is the center of the octagon. A and B are vertices of the octagon. OA equals OB equals 5 centimeters and angle AOB is 45 degrees. Work out the area of the octagon. So here what we um, have been given is an isosceles triangle OAB and we need to find the area of the isosceles triangle OAB and then simply multiply it by 8 because all these are isosceles triangles. So you have triangle number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. So they all have the same uh, lengths of, um, of the, not the diagonals, it's half the diagonal. So, um, and uh, we will work out the sides, of course, they're all equal, so it's a regular octagon. So, um, all we need to find is the area of one triangle, and that then multiply it by 8, and um, we'll get the answer. So, uh, what we do to do that is very straightforward. All we have to do is to draw a perpendicular OX. So OX is perpendicular to AB. And OX would also bisect angle OAB. Angle AOB. So therefore, angle A. OX is 45 degrees divided by 2, and that's 22.5 degree. And then we assume that let AX is small x, and OX is y. So let AX be equals x, and OX be equals y. So then, because this is 22.5 degrees, so we can say if we did sine 22.5 degrees, that would equal x divided by 5. So this is 5. This is 5. So x divided by 5. So x would be 5 multiplied by sine of 22.5 degree. So if I write 22.5 on my calculator and the sine is 0.383. So that's 5 times 0 0.383. So multiply by 5 and I'm going to get 1.913. So that would be centimeters. Okay, and then similarly to find y, we'd have to do cos of 22.5 degree equals y divided by 5. So y is 5 times cos of 22.5 um, and the cos of 22.5 is 0 0.923, 924. So 0 0.92. Two, four. So if I multiply it with 5, I would get 0.924 multiplied by 5, and that's 4.62. So I'm going to get 4.62 centimeter. So I have x, I have y. So I'm going to calculate the base, therefore AB equals 2 times 1.913. So 2 times 1.913 and that equals 3.83. 
So if I have 3.83, um, that's AB, and OX is Y, and that is 4.62, and that is OX. So therefore, area of triangle AOB would be half multiplied by the base, which is AB, or 3.83, multiplied by the height, which is 4.62. So that would be 3.83 multiplied by 4.62, and then divided by 2, and you get 8.85. That is 8.85 centimeter square. Therefore, area of octagon would be, because it's a regular octagon, uh, would be 8 times uh, 8.85 and that gives us 70.8 or 70.77 and that equals 70.8 centimeter square and um, that's the answer the area would be 70.8 centimeters square.